right, let's start with the tropical seated position. And I can't think of any props on these side. I think we're fine tonight, but plus class. Unless you want to block or something for half moon. Can you hear me okay? Inez, I think I've lost you. Yeah, there was something weird. Yeah. I've not got any other Wi-Fi on. I've got all my Wi-Fi turned off. Okay, it's like the volume is cutting. It was totally like echoing and I barely understood. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Now I can hear. Yeah, it was like totally like, uh, uh, like I this. lost you. I lost your whole picture. So, oh, yeah, I don't know what happened, but we're ready now. So let's start. Tropical seated position. All right, hands on our knees. We should close our eyes here and start with our breathing. Big inhale. Nice, long, long exhale. We're just taking the first couple minutes to focus on our breath. That's the important part of our practice is actually. So with each inhale, feel your belly rise with the air. Mix hot sector two. And then slowly, slowly release all that air out. Nice long, long exhale. And eventually let those exhales become wise and long as your inhales. So just a few more. Nice deep breath. Settling into your place on your mat. Taking this next hour all for yourself. So listening to your body. Do what's right and best for you today. Make it a time all about you. Your practice, your class. Take one more big breath here. Inhale. And nice, long, long exhale. Keep opening our eyes. Just inhale, reach your arms, round it up. Flat your hands, reach your palms up, inhale, lengthen. And you exhale, bring your palms in front, stretching that upper back. Inhale, back up. And as you exhale, turn to the right. And let's take one breath here, inhale. Exhale, left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. So inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Slowly come back around. Inhale, reach, reach up. Clasp your hands, reach your palms up. Inhale. As you exhale, turn to the left. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand to left knee. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Slowly come back around. Let's inhale, reach, reach up. So as you exhale, bring both palms in front, start to lengthen your spine. Stay here, maybe tiptoe those fingertips forward. Maybe release that heavy head. Breathe here. And then walk both palms to the right, lengthen in our left side. Now you can stay here, maybe take that right palm on top of that left, push that right hip back, a nice side stretch. Back to center. Let's walk both palms to the left. Lengthen your right side. Stay here. Maybe take your right palm on top of your left. Right hip back. Breathe here. Back to center. Let's tiptoe those fingertips back. Place your hands behind you. Reach those arms back. Pull those shoulder blades together in our chest. One more big breath. Inhale. Except when they shake those shoulders out. So we're going to come on our hands and knees to tabletop, and we're going to start a little differently today. Get a nice wrist stretch. We're going to bring our fingertips pointing back for a few rounds. This is a wonderful wrist stretch to do today. So, bringing those knees under hips, fingertips pointing back. As you inhale, your fingers spine lift up. As you exhale, release all that air out, rounding your spine. Once again, Inhale up and exhale again. Tuck the hold 
I would leave that knee. Down. Bring your right arm up. Let's point those fingers down. Pull that knee back. Release that circles here. Maybe even take fists and open those hands up. Get a nice stretch in the fingers. One way to another way. Back to down dog. So hands at the top of the mat. Reach those hips up. Walk those feet back. Stretch back here. One breath. Inhale. Exhale. All that air out. Let's walk all the way to the top of our mat. Push. Inhale. Push up with the flat back. Exhale. Pose. Inhale. Reach your arms and round it up. Lift, lift up. Grab your left wrist. Slowly releasing the right, gradually lengthen our left side. Back up, grab your right wrist, release to the left, lengthen your right side. Back to center. We'll move to a forward fold. Maybe start with a little bend in your knees. Gradually let your body cascade over here. And you're staying with here like a rag dog. Move back and forth, release that lower back. Maybe hold your elbows, get your front your face, nod your head up and down like you're staying in. Back and forth like you're staying no. And releasing our elbows. Bring your palms together. So starting with a little bit of the knee. As you inhale, reach your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale back with a little back bend. Inhale back up. Let's exhale our hands to prayer. So releasing our arms here. Feet about neck level apart. Coming up to dodge in our mouth pose. Relaxing those shoulders. A couple of nice deep breaths here. Here, let's inhale, reach and round it up high. As you exhale, bow. Inhale, lift up with a flat back. Exhale, bring your left foot back with your runner's line. Just keep that right foot ground as you reach that left heel back. Your body stretch here. One more breath here. Inhale, exhale, your right arm up. Open up. Just give that look at those right fingertips. Releasing down. Place that back foot up like a warrior pose, your left foot. We're going to keep the opposite side. So bring that right hand inside your right foot. Bring that left arm up. We're just twisting to the opposite side. Good. Maybe look up toward those left fingertips. I can hardly see mine, but I'm looking up that way. One more breath here. We're going to come to warrior two. Let's use your core strength. Slowly come up, reach those arms up. Good, nice transition. Push up both feet. Reach those fingertips out here. One more breath here. Inhale. We're going to exhale a standing twist. So just give me all those hands at the top of the mat. Keep that left leg up high. Let that head release towards your knee. Stay if you play with your balance. You want to try to bring one hand to your leg. That left leg lifting high. Reach up high for one more breath. Inhale. Exhale to four pose. Left foot leads right. And then we we'll inhale our arms to ground it up. Reach, reach up. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale. Look up with a flat back. As you exhale, bring your right foot back into our runner's line. Just keep that left foot grounded to reach that right heel back. Nice stretch here. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale your left arm up. Open up and just those left fingertips. Then release that 
left hand inside your left foot, plant that back foot down like a warrior pose. And let's bring that right arm up, just to the right. Look forward to the right fingertips. One more breath, inhale. Use those strong legs to come up to warrior two. Grab it, come up here. Nice. Bring those fingertips back. You push on both knees in. One more breath, inhale. Exhale to standing foot. Hands to top the back. Get that quad leg up high. Lift, lift up. Let that head release. Maybe work on your balance. Maybe not. Bring that right leg up high for one more breath. Inhale. Exhale to forward fold. Wide foot meets left. And then inhale, reach those arms around and up, lift, lift up. And exhale by your side. Back to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. A couple of nice deep rounding breaths here. Grounding those feet, relaxing those shoulders. One more. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we're moving to our first vinyasa here. Or if you want to skip it, go right down dog. Inhale, reach your arms around and up high. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, look up with a flat back. Step and pop back to your plank. Use your breath. Use the pure vinyasa with all the inhale. You're facing down. From here, let's inhale our right leg up, reach it up high. You should exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale back up, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back up high, exhale, knee to the left elbow. And then bring that right foot under that left arm for a fallen triangle. You want to flex under your left arm, you're going to reach that left arm up high. Open up here. Good. Reach up high. Now bring that left hand down. Swing that right leg back up high. And let's bring it forward for our quest climb. Right foot forward up on our back toes. Reach those fingertips up. Reach, reach up here. Length in your spine. One more big breath. Inhale. Now we're going to exhale into a side stretch here. So bring that left foot forward. And we're just going to release over that right leg. Breathe here. Let those fingertips reach inside that leg. Then we're going to move to a ball triangle. So left hand on the mat or on that left leg, the right leg. Let's turn to the right, right arm up. Open up here. Good. One more breath. Inhale. And come that right hand in front of you. We're going to move to half moon. Ground in our weight on that right foot. Toes pointed forward. Begin to turn to the left. Ready, left leg, left arm up, nice side stretch. Open up that left side. Now we're going to see if we can come back to a lunge. Step that left foot back, that strong right leg to come up to here. Reach those arms back up. Good, one breath, inhale. Exhale, hands to top the mat. Step back to your plank for the pure vinyasa. Right to down dog. All knees, downward facing dog. From here, let's sit our left leg up. Reach it up high. As you exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale up high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. And then move the falling triangle. Left leg under right arm. Bring that right arm up, reach up high. 
breath. Inhale, exhale, release those toes. Bring a little bit your knee. Slowly, slowly roll up here. And then we're going to set up the tree on our right side. So grounding our weight on our right foot. Whenever you're ready. Bring that left foot up. Find your gauge. Your Think about engaging your core here. You do the bond is true. Like so much of our balance. Bring our hands to prayer. Nice, steady breath here. Any kind of arm variation you want to use here, you want to bring those arms up like all three. Then we're going to move to warrior three. Keep that right leg steady. Let your body sit here, arms in front of you, left leg back. Use your focal point. And then move back to lunge. You set that left foot back. Reach those arms up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to top the mat. Step back to your plank. Go through your vinyasa. Right to down dog. All right, from here, let's inhale our left leg up, reach it up high. Just you still bend your knee, let your foot fall over to the right. Keep that left knee lifted, lifted high. Open our hip. All right, bring that left leg back up, the three-legged dog. As you have to come, bring that left foot forward. Move into warrior one. Now, wide stance here. When you're ready, reach those arms and round it up. If you arch your side as you lift, lift up high. All right, going to move a little bit here. Inhale. As you exhale, round your spine, release everything here. Inhale, reach those arms and round it up. Nice, big chest opening. Exhale, down. Inhale, round it up high. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, reach, reach, round it up. Exhale, down. Clasp your hands behind you. In your humble warrior. Let that head release down as you bring those arms up here. Reach those arms up with one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, release down. Slowly come back up and reach those arms back up where you want. Big breath. And as you exhale, step forward in your second chair. Maybe sit a little lower this time. Be sure you still see your toes. Don't let your knees extend over your toes here. And then hands to prayer for one breath. Inhale. Exhale. Begin to twist to the left. Keep those knees together. Just slowly, slowly begin to twist. And look it up to the left. Here, open it up here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale back to the center. Bring those feet about this level apart. So this time, either grab your big toes or slide your whole palm under your wrist. As wrist, I'm sorry, wrist under your feet. Sorry, palms under your feet. I'll mix up. So palms under your feet, gorilla pose, stepping on your feet here. Inhale, lengthen as you exhale. Straight those legs, release that heavy head, and breathe. One more breath, inhale. So release those hands, bring a little bit in your knees, slowly, slowly roll up here. Letting your head be the last thing. 
One more breath. Inhale, exhale back to line. Step that wide foot back, reach those arms up. Exhale, hands to top the mat. Step back to plank, go through your vinyasa, a right down bow. Or take a break and top up if you want. When you're ready, all knees down for facing dog. Here, let's inhale our right leg up, reach it up high. If you're bring your right foot forward, sweep those arms up for warrior one. One more breath here, inhale. You guys got a warrior two, so just that back foot to the center of the room. Reach those arms up here. Look. All right, one more breath here, inhale. We're gonna exhale a peaceful warrior. Drop that back hand, bring that right arm over. And release over here. Feet are looking up, we're looking down here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale to extend it side angle. So right forearm comes down, let that right knee reach that left arm over. So breathe those fingertips for you. Push on that left heel. Feel that stretch all the way down our left side of our body. Yeah, we have lots of options here. You can stay here, get a nice side stretch. You bring that left arm behind you, over your shoulder. You can come into bind if you like, wherever you want to go. One more breath here, inhale. Let's exhale back to warrior two. One breath here, inhale. We're going to exhale a triangle, straighten that front leg, reach, reach that right arm out as far as you can. Slowly bring our right arm down, left arm up. Moving up those left fingertips. One more breath, inhale. Exhale back to warrior two. And come into wide stance. Let's point our toes out today. And what we're going to do is sit low. Do a little work in our in a nice hip stretch. We're working our inner thighs. So bring our palms to the center. All right, I'm going to inhale here. As I exhale, I'm going to move those palms over to the left. Straighten that right arm. Inhale, walk back to center. Exhale to the left. So keep those hips low. Inhale, center. Exhale to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the side. Back to center. Exhale, to the side. Back to center. Exhale, to the right. Back to center. We're going to exhale to the left. You just got that right leg straight. Now I'm going to reach that left arm up. That right hand can stay on the mat. You might take it to your left leg and get a deeper straight leg. So we're going to both in a nice position. Nice, nice spinal twist. And then release down. All right, we're going to walk those palms to the right. And twist to the right here. So left hand can stay on the mat. Right arm up. I'll bring that left hand to your right leg. Deep in that twist. One 
One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Release down back to center. Now pick up your heel. See your toes are pointed forward or facing toe you. Walk those hands back for wide leg and forward fold. Releasing your head and breathe. Breathe here. Going to stretch in our legs. And bring those hands back to center. Bring a little bit in your knees. Slowly, slowly roll up. Take your time. And then we're just going to turn our right foot forward. We're just transitioning side. So we come into your plank. We'll do your vinyasa or right to down dog. When you're ready, we'll meet downward facing dog. Here, let's inhale my left leg up, reach it up, reach your hands up, bring it forward, squeeze those arms up for warrior one, reach those fingertips up. One breath here, inhale, exhale to warrior two, bring that back foot out towards the center of the room, front knee still over ankle, reach those fingertips out here. One breath here, inhale, exhale to peaceful warrior, drop that back hand, left arm up and over, feet are looking up and looking down. One more breath, inhale, exhale to extended side angle, left forearm down, right arm comes over. Reach those fingertips forward, you should push on that right heel. Feel that line of energy all the way down the right side of our body. Now you just stay here. Maybe bring that right arm behind you, looking up, looking at our shoulder. Maybe coming to a bind. Wherever you want to go. One more breath, inhale, exhale, back to warrior two. And we're going to move to triangle, so straighten your front leg, reach, reach that left arm out. Slowly bring our left arm down, right arm up. Those right fingertips open up here. One more breath, inhale, exhale, back to warrior two. Hands to top the mat. Go through one more vinyasa, right to down dog, right to top pose. Then you're ready. We're going to bring our knees to the back. Sit back and release back here. Hmm. Whenever you're ready, bring those knees to the edge of the mat and just sit back on those heels and breathe here. Coming back to that nice deep breath, inhale and slowly, slowly exhale all that in. You feel your body soft and release to exhale. And slowly rolling up in here. We're going to move into a forearm plank and work our form a bit here. So walking those knees back, coming on your forearm. I like you to make sense here. So walk those knees back. Now, when you're ready, you lift one leg, that other leg, and push those heels back as you reach that forehead to the floor. See how 
long to connect your body to. Okay, connect cord. This is the best thing we can do is bring the neck forward. This is long cord. Make sure our lower back, up with our balance, so important. If we stay here just a little longer. One more breath, inhale. Exhale from all the way down to sink. So good. All right, just coming down. You can slide those hands back a little bit. The forearms parallel the side of the mat. Lift your chest up here. Let's soften the whole back of your body. Release that lower back. Loose. And just breathe. Breathe here. Feeling our body just soften with each exhale. Just a little longer, you can stay here and move the seal. Hands at the corner of the mat. Lift up here if you'd like to do the seal. Do it. Keep breathing. A few more breaths. One more big breath. Inhale. Exhale down on your right cheek. Bring your arms by your side. Palm facing up. A couple breaths here. Then we're going to move into low So chin to the mat. When you're ready, raise your head. Your arms here. Your lower back's okay. So lift legs up. Lift, lift up. Bring the back of our body here. Breathe here. Don't forget to breathe. Slowly come down on that opposite cheek. Breathe here. We're going to move to one more back bend. You can come back to seat. You can come in back into focus. Or you can come in slow. You can bend to your knees, grabbing your feet or ankles. Wherever you are, lift up here. Your love, kick those feet to your hands. Lift up here. One more breath. Big head lift up. Exhale from your opposite cheek. Keep those knees bent. Let those feet flop from side to side like windshield wipers. Releasing that lower back. Bring those feet to stillness. We're going to push back to child's pose. Slowly they come up here. Knees edge of the mat. Sit back. Heel, lean back here, breathe here. Breathe in our spine, nice deep breaths here. And let's slowly roll back up here. Just come seated here. All right, from here, we're going to extend our left leg out. Bring the sole of your right foot into your left thigh. All right, I like to start my fingertips behind me, really lengthen up. As you inhale, Breathe those fingertips up. As you exhale, I want you to reach me forward as far as you can. So reach, 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 reach. And then slowly, slowly let your body pass feet down. You grab your leg, your ankle, your foot. Let that head drop towards your knee. Breathe here. Couple 
those risks. And then slowly roll up. Put your right foot across your left knee. Come in with your foot. I'm going to twist to the left. Your left arm comes up and around and either hug that knee or left elbow outside your knee as you inhale and just lengthen up. The chest up to it. Inhale up, feeling the string pull you all the way up to the ceiling. And exhale to it. Couple more breaths. Last exhale, slowly come back around. Pick up that right leg, extend it out. Pick up your left leg, bring the sole of our left foot in. Five, and once again, sit up straight and tall. As you inhale, reach those fingertips up. As you exhale, lengthen, lengthen forward, push the ribs forward as far as you can. And slowly drive the legs and body back in down here. No need to be easy, don't do it. This is your body. Don't force it. Do what's right for you. Maybe with each exhale, release it a little deeper to take your time. We'll be here to do that. Slowly roll up. Let's take our left foot across our right knee. We twist to the left, left arm up and around. Either hugging that knee or elbow outside your knee as you inhale, lengthen, lengthen up. Let's exhale slowly to it. Once again, inhale up and exhale to it. A couple more breaths. Last exhale, slowly come back around. All right, put that left leg. We're going to move to bound angle. So let's bring the soles of our feet together here. Maybe pulling those knees back here. Open our hips. You can hold your toes here like the pages in a book. All right, as you inhale, lengthen up. And to exhale, think about lengthening forward the first of the flat back. So those hips are beginning to release here. Now you can stay here. You can gradually you round that spine. Release that head down. Just breathe. You can sit to soften and release with each exhale. One more breath here, inhale. The dicks are slowly rub up. All right, we're going to pick up that left leg, that right leg. We're going to come all the way down and set up the bridge. So gradually coming down here. Feet about hip level apart. Maybe those fingertips touch your heels. Just reach those fingers towards your heels anyway. All right, whenever you're ready, you should inhale. Reach those hips up. So push those feet to the mat as you lift, lift them high. Push your shoulder blades to the mat. You can keep the palms on the mat, the clasp on your back, maybe shimmy those shoulders under, get a little more lift. Think about lift, lifting up here. Opening our chest, lifting it straight into the back of our body here. Keep breathing here. Now inhale up on your toes. As you exhale, release those hips, slowly sit down. Bring those feet to the edge of the mat. Let those knees fall to the center with just a couple of neutralizing breaths. You can go ahead and bring your arms out to a T here. All right, one breath here. Inhale. As you exhale, let those hips fall to the right. Just do one breath. Let's go with that last show. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Let go to the wide shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Back to center. 
center, release to the right, back to center, release to the left. Inhale, center, release to the right, we'll throw that left shoulder, and stay here. Maybe take that right heel on your left knee to deepen that stretch in your left side. Keep breathing here. And then release. Deep back to center. Release those knees to the left. We've got that right shoulder. Stay here. Or take that left heel to that right knee. Pull that knee down. Keep your head. Good to release the back to center. From here, reach your fingers and toes out, stretch, stretch here, inhale. And shake out, bring that right knee and hug that knee into your chest. So put your lower back into the back here as you pull that knee forward. And inhale back out, reach your fingers and toes out. This time you shake out, bring that left knee and hug that in, pushing your lower back into the mat here. And then release, stretch, stretch back out, reach those fingers and toes out. Just let me check yourself, bring both knees in, hug those knees in, maybe roll around that lower back, massage that lower back. Make this a nice look here. And then make circles the opposite way. Pulling those knees towards you. And then hug those knees in, really ground your spine. You can stay here, or you can curl into a little ball, bringing that forehead towards your knee, really around the neck. And then release them down. Let's find a happy day. You bring those feet up, grab the house of those feet. Maybe roll back and forth here, and flex those feet, whatever feels good to you here. One more breath, inhale, exhale, slowly, slowly, release the feet. And we just get ready to set up for our Shavasana, our final resting pose. So gradually stretch those legs out, bring your arms by your side, and move those shoulders around, kick them out a little bit. Let those feet walk out to the side. When you're ready, close your eyes. And just letting your whole body completely relax. Nice, big, big length of breaths here. So feel your eyes soften. Your cheeks, your jaws relax. Release your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists down to your fingertips, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your ankles, down to the tips of your toes, and just breathe, just breathe.
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, just gradually awaken in our body. When you're ready, inhale your arms above your head for a long body stretch. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big Gradually roll over on one side. And when you're ready, just slowly make our way back to a comfortable seat position. Taking a few nights. Breaths here. Inhaling all the way up our spine. And slowly, slowly exhaling all that air out. A couple more nice deep breaths. Slowly, slowly bring our awareness back. Gradually coming back into our day. So thank you, Ines. Let's bring our hands to prayer at center. Namaste.